so it's not not the same, but it feel you know intense. It definitely felt intense. You know, bodies hitting the floor, um, yelling out there. Uh, the crowd behind everything, uh, it had a lot of energy, for sure. What can you say about Aubrey tonight, bringing that spark and energy for you guys? Yeah, she was the game changer for us. Exactly, exactly what we needed, exactly when we needed it. Um, the second she got in, she got a steal in a bucket, um, and that's what she's capable of, and we definitely needed that tonight. What do you like specifically to see from Aubrey when she comes in? Uh, just to say aggressive, aggressive, defensively going to attack the boards. Um, and if teams are going to guard her like she, what they were doing, um, be a screener and be able to knock the ball, uh, knock a shot. And it. Well, your, your first half, you know, you seem to be make, making shots when no one else was. And kind of obviously, you know, good try with them. <laughs> yeah, it was obviously. But, um, uh, yeah, um, sometimes you, you go on a stretch like that, you, you don't miss, and then you have what happens the rest of the game for myself, but um, uh, it was a good rally for our team. You know, our defense won our game, uh, won the game for us. So. Talk about w winning without shooting the ball very well. The, the effort, the energy, the defense all seem to be at a really high level. Yeah, um, this game and the NBA game, we didn't shoot, shoot well. Um, and the, our defense kept us in the game, and that's what we're going to have to be able to do. Um, going into the season, there were questions about if our defense were gonna, was going to be able to handle things like that, and so far it's held up to do that. And um, next time out, when we have a, a game like this, a big game like this, we're going to have to be able to knock our shots in. Their coach said that when you guys didn't shoot well, it just seemed like you played harder. You had a response. Did you feel like that? Absolutely. I and mean, that's what you have to do. If you don't, you're definitely going to lose. Because if you um, gauge how you play, off of if you're making shots or not, you're not a good team. So, so now it's happened. You have played in a UConn tennis yeah. game. And, um, and I know that was secondary, obviously, to how you played. But do you think you in some ways look back on this and, and be glad that you were part of the, the resumption of the series? I definitely will be. Um, you know, and hopefully it continues because I think this game was a good spark to um, get that back. Um, again, like I said, the bodies flying everywhere, um, yelling, screaming, talking. It, it, was, it was a pretty good game. Do you think it means more to you than maybe some of your teammates? Um, in some ways, yeah, but in other ways, no, because um, once I made my decision to come here, all that left um, from being back from Tennessee and everything, I um, mean, it was really about our team time. Do you think if you have more of a sense, though, of maybe what this game was in its heyday than others on the time? Yeah, because uh, I said it uh, yesterday. Every time you walk out your house, it was a Tennessee flag. Um, people asking you if you're going to commit there and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, I was... I was supposed to go to Tennessee, and I did it, so. You also said yesterday that Avina would feel some type of way if you guys lost this. So what was her mood after the game? Hype. She was hyped the whole game. Um, you know, uh, yelling at us to stay with it um, in the locker room at halftime, um, animated. I mean, I would have felt a type of way if we had lost because I know that's a, that's a pain. Obviously, I won't be able to feel that because I've been here for all four years. But uh, if you lose to a former team, that stings a little bit more.